in the middle of Mexico. In the land of volcanoes. High above the clouds. There is one volcano that stands above the rest. Okay, thank you, Mr. Overly Dramatic Intro Man. The rest of this video will not have that tone. Also, thank you to David Attenborough and Morgan Freeman for rejecting my request to do the voiceover for this video. Your voices aren't that good anyways. The journey to the top starts in the village of Tlachichuca, say that five times fast, and from there, a slow car ride to the Piedra Grande hut on the mountain. Did I mention the ride comes with a free massage? The hut is primitive, but nice enough to be out of the elements and a good place to meet fellow climbers. We decided to do a short hike up the trail we would take in the morning. One, to stretch out our lungs. Two, to get our bearings, as the next time we would be here, it would be in the darkness of the middle of the night. When we returned, the hut had started to fill with climbers from all over the world. One last look at the sunset, and then it was time to lay in bed and pretend to sleep while the world's squeakiest door opened and closed all night. I was literally awake the entire night. We were last to leave the hut at 1.45 in the morning. Get out of here. <sighs> my crampon keeps falling off of my shoe. And I'm not exactly sure why, but it's ruining my climb. And I really don't, if this keeps happening, I don't know if I can make it to the top. And I'm just like 1,500 feet away. Ugh. My crampon, my right crampon, keeps falling off. I don't know why, but it's like every five minutes it just, just decides, nope, I'm not gonna be attached to your foot. Which is a problem when you're on the side of a 
steep slope that's covered in ice. It's a really nice sunrise though happening right now. I think I'm going to turn around and go back down the mountain. I'm the summit is just it's just up there. It's maybe less than 2,000 feet, which will still take me a while to get there, but I mean one it would take me forever with how this crampon situation is going and it's disappointing but that's the reality so <sighs> oh. I will say, it does look a lot cooler during the daytime when you can actually see and not at night when you're just like going through these rock fields and you don't really know where you're going or it doesn't even really seem like there's anything to look at but in the daytime like, I don't know, it's, uh, it's nicer. So this is part of the labyrinth right here. It's just this like uh kind of gully of giant boulders and rocks and scree and the path is kind of hard to find but there are several paths you could take and uh yes yeah, so navigating it in the dark isn't like the easiest thing but you know as long as you're just like going up and it's all right but uh yeah this is the labyrinth it's not my favorite um actually didn't like it at all so yeah there you go marshall's hot take i figured out why my crampon kept popping off it's because they gave me two left-footed crampons such a simple thing such a simple mistake there was a huge festival in Tlachichuca that night but I was exhausted, very sleep deprived, and not exactly in a celebratory mood. As a bonus, this guy was convinced I had drugs on me. Luckily, I had them well hidden. Just kidding. So that's my story of Orizaba. I'm not sure if I want to try again, but we'll see.